Hey guys, Ryan here. Today we're going to be doing my top 15 favorite characters of Walking Dead altogether. So let's get right into it. Number 15 is King Ezekiel. He did he did a heck of an appearance in The Walking Dead Season 7. From Episode 2, just in general, he did an amazing job. We have to be honest, okay? I don't know, man. Just the tiger in general was awesome. So yeah, King Ezekiel's number 15. Number 14 is Tara. I heard a few people complain about her episode 6 with Oceanside, saying that she couldn't car carry her own episode. Yeah, she, there might have been a few dry spots, but there were in a lot, and there is dry spots in every single TV show that were ever made on television. Like, Tara did an amazing job, especially Elon Masterson did an amazing job in this season in general. Tara, I think, did a great job. Really helped out the group, um, getting the guns for... Um, getting the guns for, uh, the scavengers. So, yeah, Tara did a great job this season. Number 13 was Rosita. Oh, man, Rosita was amazing. You have to, you really have to say that. Rosita, she did a cool job this season. Some people thought she was annoying. I personally thought she was awesome. Especially from the minute she pulled out the pistol and shot Lucille. It was really awesome. So, yeah, she's number 13. Number 12 is Dwight. I'm so happy with Dwight right now. He came over to our side and he kept his part of the deal saying he'd cut down some trees. Yeah, it didn't go that the way it planned because the scavengers betrayed them. And then he even left the note saying he did not know. So I don't. I tr completely trust Dwight 100%. I don't know how you can because he didn't do anything that would say otherwise. I mean, that's the risky part though. Because someone like King Ezekiel or Carol or the Kingdom or the Hilltop people, they could have shot him. Like, they could have killed Dwight. So, that's the tricky part. Like, Dwight, I don't know. I mean, if I was Dwight, I honestly probably would have ran. I probably would have because, not saying, because like, I'm a wimp. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that's tricky. Like, you don't want to see, you don't want Negan to see you not shooting and then he kills you and then Rick doesn't have an inside man or something. So, I think Dwight's really just trying to make it work out for the best. Um, Number 11 is Negan. Man, Negan... Oh, man, I really wish he had some more screen time this up this um, season. But, man, he made a heck of a first appearance. you got to be honest about that. Um, and then just how it all played out to the season finale. I love some stuff. He says, you got some beach ball size lady nuts. <laughs> um, and then I love the way when they were driving out of Alexandria, what he did. But, man, he is really funny. Uh, and thanks to Negan, we got to see what Carl's eye looks like. Thanks a lot. I couldn't eat for a week straight. I'm joking. Um, anyway, so yeah, he did, he killed it in episode 7 this season. Um, number 10 is Abraham. Abraham was awesome. He was. Um, he was really funny. Sad to see him go. Um, but I think they should have kept, it's just the way Abraham was. He was a good character. He was strong. And yet, he was only on the show for not even three seasons. That kind of made me mad, because I felt Abraham should have been on for at least four or five. But the thing is, with that, you, the longer you keep them on, the bigger the character they become. And then, the more people will react to when you kill them off. So, I think Abraham, what well, he, his story led up to a good point. And I think they did it at the probably the best time possible. Because if they did do his comic book death, I probably would have been a little bit mad. But who am I to complain about Walking Dead? It's my favorite show. So, number nine is Morgan. Morgan, ooh, man. Episode 13 was his episode. This season, he killed it from episode two to the finale. Especially his speech with Ezekiel, you know, when Carol and all them were on their way. And then the cards were blocked. And then he's like, she's like, guns up. And then Morgan comes out. He killed it with that part. So, I really liked how he was fighting and... He knows they killed these people and they killed Ben. Like, I, it really showed a lot from in episode 13 that Richard got him killed. It really showed a lot that um, Benjamin meant that much to Morgan. Number eight is Sasha. Sasha, oh man, I really wish she didn't go. Just from her reaction to Abraham's death, it was. Man, Sneak Mark Green really did a great job with that character and it was really sad to watch her go. But thank God the way she did go really did what it did because she helped out this group so much <laughs> she really did so yes um and number seven is carol carol 
Oh man, I'm so I was so happy to see her back in action for the season finale. That was awesome. She really did a good job with her AK-47. I was so happy to see her back in action. Um, I don't have good feelings about her and Morgan in season eight. Every but I see this like every season, you know. Oh crap! Some one of them is gonna die, but it never happens. I don't know. I mean, I think Carol's invincible. After everything she survived, they're going to have some guts to kill her off. Number six is Carl. I think Carl really did a great job this season because from episode seven, when he's like, I think you should jump out the window to save me the trouble of killing you, you know? And he said that to Negan. And then he's like, in the season finale, he's just got that huge machine gun and he's just like going crazy with it. I think he did great. And even when he's like, moments from death he still has the guts to say to Negan you're not gonna win and I just think uh Chandler Riggs did a great job this season number five is Maggie Maggie oh man she was pretty much like the leader of the hilltop now which really really is awesome I was so happy to see her at that point but when Gregory pulled that knife on her I got a little shaky I was like oh man is he actually gonna try to stab her <sighs> Although, we all know she could have beat him up easily. So, um, Maggie's number five. Number four is Daryl. Um, I know a lot of people are probably going to be surprised with that. But I think Daryl is great at number five. I think some people are going to be like, he should be higher up. But Daryl is my number four. Um, I think he did a good job. I think he did a good job this season. Um, I'm so happy with how much screen time he got. He did, he did good, but I think in the second half of the season, they could have given him a little bit more, even though he only missed three episodes in the last half. Yeah, that's actually pretty good, but he did miss episode two in the beginning, six, five as well. So he missed six episodes a season, which I really, I don't know, I think 12-ish, around 12 episodes is good for Daryl. I think he should have gotten a little bit more time, but I think at the time he did get is fair enough. So either way, number Rick is number three. I know Rick is like the exact, like the main character, but two other characters are higher on the list. Two other characters really mean some a little bit more to me. But either way, Rick, he's a great character. Rick Grimes, season six, was probably my favorite version of Rick Grimes. Or season five, I think Rick Grimes did a great job in season five. He really, with his big, huge beard, <laughs> like you would not want to mess with that dude, just like Negan said. Um, so yeah. Rick is number three. I don't even know how to describe it, but he just, he is. He's number three. I think he did a great job this season, but I, my favorite one was probably season five. He did great in season five. Um, and then number two is Glenn. So sad to see him go, but this is a true fan. When your second favorite character gets killed off, you still watch the show. It's almost been a season later, and I still watch the show. So I think that's a true fan, honestly, because Glenn, we all have to be honest, Glenn is an amazing character. He's like the one... Well, him and Tara are, like, the people, like, well, actually, kind of King Ezekiel, too. They're, like, the three people that actually still have a little bit of humanity in them. But I think Glenn has the most. I think Tara follows Glenn in a great way. Um, so, yeah, just Glenn's number two. It's really sad to see him go. And my two, three honorable mentions is Shiva. I really wanted Shiva to be on my list, but these some of these characters I just had to have on there. And also, I had Simon. He's not just an honorable mention. I didn't really care if he's on my list or not, but I think he did a good job this season, and he was hilarious. <laughs> um, just, like, the way he comes into a room, he just, like, you know, he, his humor and stuff. And also, my last honorable mention is Cindy. Cindy, she was only in two episodes this season, but she still was cool. I really liked she, I don't know. She's just, like, a good actress. She really did great on portraying Cindy. Um... Sydney Park portrayed Sin Cindy really well. It's hard. I always get those confused. I um, mean, my number one favorite character is Michonne. Oh my gosh, Michonne! Just look at her. Just like look at this. This is like the coolest weapon ever. She has a sword, and now she's like one of the best shots in the group. Like, you don't want that. You don't want to be like that in a zombie apocalypse. You don't want to have like a three. In, you don't want to have like a three foot long sword with a sniper rifle that you can use probably better than anybody in your group besides Sasha like just look at Michonne like she looks so awesome like I love Michonne action figures I'm just gonna say that right now I have t I have a pop of her as well which I want to get the other one of her dressed as the constable for Alexandria but man Michonne is awesome 
She's my number one favorite character. Leave your comments down below on what you guys thought of this video. Leave your top 10, top 15, however many you want to do down below. Oh, here's Michonne. Here's Michonne. <laughs> um, and then we have a sweet poster of her all the way up there uh, from season 3, episode 10, called Home When the Governor Comes and Attacks and she's shooting at him and stuff. Um, so yeah, Michonne's my number one favorite character. Leave your comments down below. Thank you guys for watching this video. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next time on Ryan's WD channel.